Hey gang, Scott here. Another quick video for you about the select landscape feature of Lightroom's masking. This is a photo where the select landscape doesn't identify all of the regions. And in general, you know, some of the, the masking tools just get a little confused. Uh, you know, currently this, this just is a little bit uh, beyond what the AI is doing, but you can still leverage what you have available to get the kind of mask that you need. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. When I look at this photo, there's really three, maybe four segments I'm curious and interested about. The sky, the mountains, the architecture, and maybe this foreground wall that's you know, a little blurry because I'm you know, doing a depth of field thing close to the camera. And when I go into the masking area and I say, oh, great, landscape, go find me stuff. It finds mountains and sky. The sky is good. We know sky selection is very good. Mountains, it's most of it, it's got a little bit more uh, because of the greens and the you know the, the the grasses and mosses. It picked that up as mountains, and it missed a little bit of the fog. Uh, but that's not really what I want. I mean, I I, I want to be able to treat uh, this um, this stonework in the foreground. It's like okay, well, what else do I have? I've got background, and that completely misses the mark. So I was like, all right, well. What do we still have in our toolkit and can I leverage what landscape gave me? Because we have object, we can you know, select things and that, that can work uh, and probably would work. Uh, it's, uh, I've, I've actually tried that on the, the foreground here doing like a big box selection around you know, the, the whole the blurry wall here and it got segments of it. I had to do two or three selections on it. But back to landscape, if I just go back in here and we'll add our landscape and if I say, give me sky, give me mountains, put them both in there. And we can just quickly deal with erasing, you know, what's, what's here. That's light work, right? Okay, great, got that. And for the sake of argument, we'll say that's good. And for, you know, this we'll fill in here. All right, I've got my mask and I can do what I wanted to do with it, which here is probably, you know, tone it down some, um, Add in some contrast, probably get a, a little bit of the dehaze going to, to you know, have that that mountain start to retreat into the background. It's like, well, now I also want to do things to the the foreground, the stonework, the architecture. We saw that select landscape isn't going to work, but we have other tools. We've got inverting masks, right? I've got this mask now. Great. Let me duplicate, invert already good to go and you know do you know the, the clarity and, and textured and things that we would we would work on um, you know to, to bring the stone work out uh, the point of the video is landscape the select landscape it's very good you might find times where it doesn't exactly get you what you want you can still leverage it use a little bit of your other masking tools don't forget about the basics inverting masks, duplicate and invert, and you can still quickly segment your photo into the different elements you want to treat and uh, you know be on your way with your, your processing. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go finish this one up and uh, do a little more styling on it so I can I can make that little, uh, little stone house uh, that's really shine. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.